over, this is my new stage outfit. Do I look like a funky gentleman gangster? Yes. Do I look like a physics teacher who's recently found God? <laughs> so I, I wrote a column in the Sunday Times, it's called Dad's Rules, it's all about the magic of childcare. I remember the moment when my girlfriend first said to me, let's have children. I knew this was a historic moment, I must respond like a man. So I ignored her. I don't understand. I don't understand pregnancy. I don't understand how two cells becomes four cells, which becomes someone who can wipe jam on your CDs. You know, I, I was scared that if I became a dad, you know, I'd become my dad. Before long, I'd be answering the phone going, I'll get your mum. I think the words to all music is, hum, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> And here I am now with three minutes and I've forgotten what I was supposed to say! Three minutes and I'm all over the place like a man with piss! Shit, that's bad! Um, so I've written this show um, because, uh, basically because I, I hate Super Nanny. Um, I, I hate the way, um, you know, she wears that sort of tight white nurse's outfit and those secretary glasses. I don't need my parenting experts to look like porn stars. <laughs> the only fantasy I have about Super Nanny is the one where I push her into a big muddy puddle. Um, I feel that what I resent most about her show is the, how it suggests that children present a series of problems which can be corrected. Yeah. No one has done a show, I feel, about the things that children teach us. If you see a train, you must always wave. <laughs> if you see a button, you must push it. <laughs> if you reach the bottom stair, you must jump. If you're lucky enough to find a bathroom light with a string, you must pull that string two or three hundred times. <laughs> yeah, and so my show is all about why men are scared of having children and how they can learn to love them. Um, because children are, are like farts. If they're yours, they're surprisingly lovely. <laughs> they remind you a little bit of you. But when other people appear, it's best to leave the room. <laughs> I mean, you've got friends or relatives who've recently had children. It's it just shocking, isn't it? Just how ugly other people's children are. <laughs> but the parents never realise. They come towards you with this thing that looks like a kind of monkey that's been peeled. <laughs> you know, our eldest can walk now. <laughs> you want to say, almost everyone in the world can walk? If you want to impress me, tell me he can fly. <laughs> So I'm going to be at the uh, Pleasance Cabin. Pleasance, I'm not there. I'm at the Pleasance Dome at 6.50 every night. See you there. Thank you. <laughs> Come and join me, Gilbert.